What's up guys, it's your boy Steve G and Treyarch has released a new patch today patch 1.04 they listened to all our problems they heard all our struggles and they are attempting to fix the game so I'm going to go over these patch notes with you uh, enjoy the gameplay in the background um, maybe you can uh, find some tips or you know find something useful from that but uh, here we go uh, first we're going to talk about the uh, issues that the patch notes uh, uh, the, the new patch addressed uh, all right here we go uh, fixed a rare hang awaiting textures upon loading into maps when joining the session in progress after fresh boot uh, rare is not the word for it because this happened to me twice yesterday where the game hangs right before it jumps to a game and it freezes the system and you can't do anything so you have to restart the system yeah they said they fixed that so that shouldn't happen anymore all right game now resets the care package for a non-owner if the owner rerolls the package using the engineer perk okay players with black hat PDA can no longer hack a care package faster than the owner can capture it yeah that makes sense that you I mean in all the past Call of Duty games you know when the owner actually uh, was trying to get a care package it was like you know instantly but I guess now you could you will before you could hack a, a care package with the PDA but not now uh, faster than the person can take it all right address an exploit where modified console hackers could maliciously spread infected films to other users Wow I didn't know about that that sucks so that's just a way that hackers hacked your system by spreading the the uh, a film affected with a virus or something to your console so that when you try to look at the film it will spread the virus so I guess they fix that all right added a fail state say uh, added a fail safe to prevent spawn trapping and capture the flag now spawn trapping was a, a, a I mean it's a big issue it's been a big issue you either love it or you hate it and you either love the supporters of it or hate the supporters of it and uh, I guess they arranged a way to change the spawns so you can't be spawn trapped on capture the flag I haven't seen it personally but I don't doubt it I don't doubt it especially with black ops uh, increase the site checks on turrets to improve spawning algorithms so they won't they don't want you to spawn right in front in front of a turret makes sense uh, fix the number of new UI error messages reported by users uh, yeah uh, there are a lot of use UI stands for user interface which is what you see in the game and uh, I guess they just they fixed the errors that were that were happening and being reported so uh, improved overall theater and live streaming stability uh theater mode was broken so hopefully they fix that because i man i have had a lot of games that i bookmarked because you know they were really good games and i wanted to show you guys went back to look at them and they're nowhere to be found uh improved film re rendering stability and made progress bar more accurate while rendering a film okay address issues which prevented some master challenges from being completed <laughs> Dang! I guess some people were trying to complete <laughs> challenges and they did it, and they didn't get the they didn't get the completion for it. That kind of sucks. Sometimes those challenges get pretty hard, get pretty difficult. All right, precision challenge. Wet work will now unlock with 10 kills. All right, the wins challenge will now account for all free for all modes. Okay, uh, players that help with the synchronized attack challenge now get credit for it. Players will not be able to manually take control of their AGR if they die at the exact moment that their AGR deploys. Alright, um, Emblem Editor no longer closes the current emblem when discarding changes. Players using Ghosts will no longer be invisible at all times in custom games with the minimap option set to constant. Okay, that's just custom games. <clears throat> has nothing to do with anything important. That's custom games are where you're supposed to go have fun and change stuff and do all that crap that I, I hate when people do it in the public matches or league play. Alright, players using Ghosts and a suppressor attachment will no longer appear on the enemy's minimap while shooting and moving while the UAV is up. Uh... That's how Ghost is supposed to work in the first place. So, I guess that was a glitch. That the uh, that kind of sucks, man. Cause I didn't know that. I know sometimes I would get killed while I had Ghost, and I was just thinking like I got Ghost. I was, you know, rushing. How did they know exactly where I was? So maybe it's this glitch that they fixed. Okay. The median for the KD graph is the AAR. In the AAR, is set to 1.0 instead of zero. All right, players can no longer get on top of the shrubs <laughs> in Nuketown 2025. Okay, so what? What's the point of that? All right, uh, th 
Thermal vision overlay no longer appears using the VTOL glitch. The VTOL glitch, okay. Kills from the explosion or on the explosive crossbow now count towards challenges. Makes sense. Counting UAV no longer remains for the rest of the game after a host migration. That happened? Ah, oh, man, I never saw that. That must be pretty, uh, that must be rare. I don't know. Have you guys seen that? I haven't. Uh, clan tag is no longer locked immediately after prestige. Prestige. Uh, offline pro profiles can no longer be exploited to join games when an online profile is also signed in. Uh, Multi-team games no longer count as a tie if an entire team quits. I haven't seen that, but... Man, I hate when teams quit in league play, though, because it's... I hate when people quit because it makes the game tougher, but that's another story. All right, fixing an area in Express where canine units dog... <laughs> canine unit dogs can get stuck, so you call in a dog. <laughs> and they get stuck in, like, a bar wire or something. That's kind of funny. EMP grenades no longer affect the COD caster HUD. Uh, shadow seen through sniper scopes now render more correctly. Uh, players can no longer stand on invisible collision in carrier. Drop shot medal was no longer awarded after standing back up. Yeah, I got a couple drop shot medals after doing the drop shot and then standing up and then killing the guy. But uh, players can now copy a custom class to an extra prestige slot. Wow. Okay. Those are the issues that they addressed. If your issue was not addressed, you should get on Twitter and contact those guys at Treyarch Activision or contact David Vonderhaar. And maybe you can get them changed in the next... Uh, the next uh, patch. Uh, I guess I'll talk about the new features. This is going to be a long video. Uh, sorry for the length, but I guess if you don't know where these patch notes are, it's important that I go through all of them. Uh, so I'll go through this pretty quickly. The new features and feature improvements. Uh, added support for posting live stream URLs to Twitter. Improved, improved audio ramble responsiveness when hitting enemies with gunfire so you can hear the connection. Uh, you can hear the hit detection better. Uh, improved overall communication of double XP when enabled. AAR better communicates how much XP was earned in the match. Uh, added the ability to view league teams from any player's player card. Uh, added the ability to view player card from low from league solo leaderboards. Um, added a number of security system enhancements. Uh, hopefully they can prevent the hackers. That's what that's for. The and other internet threats. Uh, added hardcore kill confirmed playlist to the hardcore category. So there's a new playlist being added. Um, nice. Our right, game balancing. Now this is what you want to listen to. This is uh, balancing of the game, weapons, you know, score streaks, you know, whatever. And, you know, what David Vonderhaar said about balancing, he said, uh, gameplay, gameplay balance, this is from, directly from his Twitter, it says, you know, quote, how gameplay balance decisions are made, math plus feedback equals tuning, but mostly math, sometimes what you have to say and the math agree sometimes not all the time so hmm interesting alright the following is a list of numerous gameplay balancing tweaks alright score streaks UAV uh, cost increased from 350 to 425 wow so they increased the cost of the UAV to I guess to regulate some of the UAV spam that has been going on uh, in the game so it's gonna be tougher to get a UAV now and uh, I think that's a good thing because uh, now I have to rock ghosts on every class and uh, you know I, I want to explore some other options on the perk one slot. Uh, lightning strike added 750 millisecond delay. So that means that you won't immediately get killed when there's a lightning strike. Because you know when somebody calls on a lightning strike and then you get killed and then the announcer tells you about it, that's not going to happen anymore. <laughs> Alright, so equipment and grenades. Uh, bouncing Betty increased the grace period between trigger and activation by 200 milliseconds. So if you run by a bouncing Betty, you have. 200 milli more milliseconds to get away. Uh, sensor grenade increased the range, uh, frequency, and amount of time that players appear after an explosion. So they made it, they buffed it. Uh, concussion grenade decreased movement penalty and turn speed penalty when hit. So they have nerfed, nerfed the concussions. So all those people that were using that concussion, um, flash bang tactician class, uh, that will be less effective now and uh, if you haven't seen that that's something by Osric uh, I, I might put a link to that in, in the description that was a pretty good video because I, I actually use that use those tips and it works fairly well but now I guess it won't work anymore alright SMGs all SMGs have increased hit fire recoil so they have been 
nerf all of them <laughs> and what David Fonderhart said about SMGs he said quote I couldn't pay people to use SMGs in development when the game came out I couldn't pay people to use anything else but they get nerfed a bit all right increased max hit fire spread from 4.75 to 5 so the hit fire is less accurate now uh, reduced bullet penetration so you can't shoot through walls as 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 well as you could before uh, MSMC has been um, nerfed specifically they increased the recoil slightly and the PDW 57 has also uh, been increased uh, for uh, recoil so they've both been nerfed uh, assault rifles uh, all reduced idle sway for more reliable long-range aiming so they have buffed all assault rifles the XM8 reduced lethal range of three hit kills from 250 to 50 so that is one-fourth the range of three hit kills for the XM8 I don't use that but if you do uh, you've been nerfed uh, XM8 plus select fire you increase recoil the select fire on the FAL increase re recoil you increase recoil on the SWAT select fire MTAR made auto aim values consistent with all other assault rifles so I guess the auto aim was not consistent before snipers I hate snipers but here you go I don't hate snipers but actually I do hate it because it's just a one hit kill man it's just a, I don't know uh, I know a lot of you love sniping my friend likes sniping so they in the game for a reason but anyway uh, increased hit fire spread uh, for all sniper rifle so they've been buffed I mean nerfed they've been nerfed uh, all plus laser sight increased hit fire spread on laser sight um, increased recoil slightly for the XPR 50 um, so snipers have been nerfed uh, shotguns reduce one hit kill range by 45 inches huh for the R870 so it's been nerfed a lot of nerfing is going on um, pistols reduce headshot multiplier from 1.4 to 1 um, reduce headshot multiplier. Oh, that's for the B23R, and for the Cap 40, reduce headshot multiplier from 1.4 to 1. So they, those two pistols have been um, nerfed as well. And that is it, guys. I uh, hope you found this uh, information uh, valuable and uh, have fun with the game and enjoy these nerfs and buffs and all these changes that Treyarch has made to make you a happy gamer. Um, thanks for watching. It's been your boy Steve G. Uh, goodbye.